So today I will be reviewing Teen Mom OG Season 6, now, Episode 16. Now, we've all 16. heard of Battered Woman Syndrome, but has anyone ever heard of Battered Parent Syndrome? Let's talk about it. I want to start out with Farrah. Um, this opening season, it seems like nothing's changed. Uh, she's still the meanest person on television. And I really, really, really do believe she's in the midst of creating another syndrome called Battered Parent Syndrome. I mean, this is getting hard, harder and harder to watch. I mean, she is the meanest person on television, and that includes people on the ID channel. This is insane, and I don't understand why her parents keep running back for more. Like, I don't get it. Let's just, say, let's just say you were one of the unlucky souls of the world that just gave birth to the meanest person on television. My, if, if that was my, my situation, it would go something like this. So this episode, Fair is complaining because her parents are over helping her, okay? <laughs> Complaining in true Farrah style. What I said my situation would be different because I'm not going to be like, Farrah, you need to be nice to me. Farrah, can I come by? Farrah. My situation would be like this. Like, Mom, where are you at? And I'll be like, at home because I'm tired of dealing with your dumb ass and I will not be helping. Click. Like, you have to flip the... That's why I call it battered parent syndrome. She you know with the battered women, it's all in their head. They put up with the man's shit. They're scared of him when he walks in the room. That's how her parents are acting. Like, I used to feel sorry for them, but I can't anymore. You're doing it to yourself. Like, please, there's, there's so much you could do with this damn woman named Farah. But you guys don't try. Ass kissing is not a solution. <laughs> The worse she gets, the more of her ass they kiss. And I thought that was the worst thing. It gets even worse. We're not only in the middle of watching a new syndrome being created, but we're also in the middle of watching a Farron Take Two being created. The way that they treat little Sophia is, I've never seen anything like it. Like, what? Okay, so this episode, Farrah is opening up a new store for Sophia. I'm going to repeat that because I don't want you to think you mis misunderstood what I said. Farrah is opening up a new store. Store! For her seven-year-old. <laughs> How spoiled can spoiled get? It's insane. And she's, she's a spitting image of her mom. So they were going to take pictures of her to put up in the store. And she's demanding, I don't want that picture. No. No, you do it again. Farrah, take two. I blame this whole situation on her parents. You guys need, I would say therapy, but it's not working. You might need to go to jail for your parenting skills. You have no parenting skills. I mean, to just send a creature out into the world to act like that and act like you did nothing wrong, it's, it's criminal. It is criminal. And I don't know if anyone else has noticed this. Have you noticed Fear doesn't have any friends? <laughs> no, I'm sorry. You know, they might show Macy going to her girlfriend's house or the, the people were at Amber's house this season. Um, everybody has friends except for Farrah. And if I'm not mistaken, when this program first started, did she have a sister? <laughs> what is she dead somewhere? Buried under the house? Has Sarah Farrah killed her? What happened to your sister? Why isn't she coming around? That should be an issue. Like, is she embarrassed of me? Does she not like the way I treat it? It's as if she never existed and the family just moved on. It's almost creepy. Like, what the hell? <sighs> Listen, 
So they go to therapy for basically um, Farrah's bad behavior, but they're also in therapy before their ass kissing behavior. Like I've never seen anything like it, but this is not the first time they've been in therapy. It's not working. You guys have to do something about this. I can't take it anymore. If you refuse to do anything, I'm gonna start writing letters. I cannot take it anymore. So poor little Deborah. I mean, I don't know if I feel sorry for her, but I just look at her like a science project. So I have to tell you this because um, my cousin just told me, <laughs> we were talking about it the other day and she was like, did you know uh, Deborah is a rapper? <laughs> She bought some record company and she wants to make a rap album. <sighs> I, just, I don't make this up. I swear to God, my cousin too. I do not make this up. She wants to be in the next Jay-Z. But you're only mimicking half of Jay-Z. Jay-Z would never put up what Farrah's behavior. Like, I don't feel sorry for you guys any anymore. Like, they come over, they're scared. Farrah... Look, no, you, Farrah doesn't have any friends or a boyfriend because nobody can stomach her behavior and you're doing your daughter a disservice by turning a blind eye. Now I'm done talking about this because this girl gets on my last nerve and I am nowhere near like her parents. I don't have to deal with it. So I'm moving on. Macy storyline. And I feel really bad about what I'm about to say. Because I hate being the first person to say anything. But I've been watching Teen Mom for a long time now, and no one's bringing it up. No one! So I'm going to have to do it. Okay. I'm, I want to know how old is Ryan. <laughs> okay, because I was under the impression that he was in his 20s. But he's not looking like he's in his 20s. The gray hair... The tobacco is chewing under the mess. The eye stare. I'm just gonna need MTV to provide some kind of driver's license or age verification. Because it just, it just can't be. Is he really in his 20s? I mean, in the God, if he is in his 20s, how the hell is he gonna look when he's in his 30s? What is going on? Now, I know this show is called Teen Mom. It means the mom started out in their teens, but they didn't say anything about the dads. MTV, can you please release Ryan's information and let the audience know how old he is? Okay, there, I said it, there. I was just wondering, every time he comes on the screen, are you really in your 20s? I mean, who grades in their 20s? And if you do gray in your 20s, there's this, this thing called hair dye should try it. I'm just saying. Besides that, they had a lovely episode where, fi <laughs> where Ryan finally made it on time to Halloween. So we have Amber. So let's move on. Amber's upset because basically Gary isn't giving her more time with um, her daughter, Leah. <clears throat> you know, Gary's a good father. He may be being a bit overprotective, but he, he has the final say. So what I would do if I were you, Amber, I would just keep improving myself, opening new businesses, looking how to support yourself outside of MTV like you're doing now. He'll come around. It's no big deal. He's a good dad and he's obviously doing a great job because little Leah is smart as hell. Let's move and on. last but not least, we have Caitlin and Tyler. Now this is a very, very sad situation they got going here. <clears throat> Caitlin is, uh, Caitlin is suffering from depression or mental illness, they're calling it. And Tyler, this episode, feels stressed. This is how you're, and I can tell you where all your problems stem. They stem from childhood. When a child has to parent the parent, that's a stressful draining job and I don't think you guys even realize the pressure it's putting on you to to parent the parents and it's not just Butch it's Caitlin's side too the, these parents have put so much stress on these children 
tell, I'm surprised that they're as successful as they are. And I even wonder if they connect the two. Listen, it's time you guys cut the, what they call, apron strings and let your parents go. Let, especially Butch. We can't keep um, pampering Bush, pleading, now Bush, Butch is back in jail, but he's not saying why he's in jail. I guarantee you it's probably drugs. That's what drugs addicts do. And drug addicts are also users. So while it would be nice if your parents were sane, no, I'm not saying we're responsible adults, but they're not. They aren't, and you're never going to get that situation. If I were you guys, I wouldn't take Butch in anymore, and I will let my parents' problems be my parents' problems. Because if you don't, you're going to drive yourself crazy, both of you guys. I'm just saying, you know, it's, it's horrible, but I would not bring Butch back into my house. Never, ever again. It's too much. Besides that, I think you guys are a great couple. You know, Tyler, you do need some rest. You're going to drive yourself crazy. I love this episode. I love this series. I love all the women minus um, Farah. So I will be watching next week. Tune in to see my review. So thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,